Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to run descriptive statistics using Python. Whenever we are uh, running machine learning algorithms, it is a prima facie to understand the descriptive statistics of the data first. So for this, we will have to go in the Python notebook. Now we will run from pandas import read underscore csv. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of entire series. Now I'll specify the file name and I'll give the path where the file is located. Then I'll specify the names of the variable. Make sure that uh, the variable names are written in single inverted commas and separated by a comma. So file name is there, name is there. Now data is equal to read underscore csv. This file name and names so that the uh, command gets completed. Now print data.save. By running this command, we will come to know how many variables are there and how many rows are there. If I want to have a quick view of the data, I'll run pick is equal to data.head20. First 20 rows will be generated. Print pick. Pima Indian Diabetes is a very popular data set which is available on the Kaggle website. Now you can run this command by two methods, shift enter and control enter. I recommend that you go for shift enter because by running this command, it will enter into the second column. So it has given me the output that there are 768 rows and 9 variables. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. If I want to have the dimensions of the data, I can also run save is equal to data dot save once you have run this command from pandas import read underscore csv it is not necessary to run this command again and again i'll remove this from here also so save is equal to data dot save print save and i'll get the output 768 rows and nine variables now if i want to know the type of the data i'll run the command types is equal to data dot d types print types and i'll get the output that the preg is the integer 64 data and mass is float 64 data paddy is float 64 data now let us see the difference between these two data and try to understand that if the output is in float what does it mean and if it is an integer what does it mean so mass and peri, they both are in decimal. Can you see this? Fine. All others are in integers. And therefore, the output given by the Python is specifying that these are all integers data and this is a float data. Now I want to have a preliminary statistics like uh, measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion like mean, median, mode and standard deviation. So for this, what I'll have to do from pandas uh, I'll not use this one from pandas import set underscore option set underscore option display dot width 120 set dot option precision that is I want the output in three or four decimals at present four decimals are there so when I'll run the command you will come to know it will the output will be there only in three decimals description is equal to data dot describe print description and you can see the output is now in three digits. Now I want to have the output for the data, which is a categorical data. Here class is our target variable, which is person is diabetic or not diabetic. If we get one, then the person is diabetic. If it is zero, then the person is non-diabetic. So I want to count that how many uh, patients are suffering from this disease. So from pandas import again, this is not necessary. You can directly run the command from here. Class underscore counts data dot group by class. Class is a variable which we want to count. Dot size print class counts. So when I'll run this data, I'll get the output that this is an integer data sets. 500 belong to zero category that is non-diabetic and 268 are diabetic. Now I want to run the correlation among these variables. So the command line is from pandas import set underscore option, set underscore option, display the width 
100 set underscore option precision three digit output correlations is equal to data dot core now this is just an arbitrary name which we have given to this correlation you can give any name here but this is a command line you should be very specific here and the method which will be deployed for running the correlation is a Pearson correlation print the correlations and I'll get the output so this is a correlation between plasma and track now we should understand one thing let's take the output in the word file Let's take the output in word file. Now I'll draw the diagonal line here. Now this is a mirror image. Both are mirror, mirror image of each other. So I, either you can consider the upper triangle or the lower triangle. You can confirm this that the correlation between Prague and Plas is 0 0.129. Similarly, here also you see Prague and Plas that is 0 0.129. So either I can take the upper triangle or the lower triangle. So let us delete this upper triangle. And now my entire interpretation will come from this. That for example, the relationship between test and Plas is 0 0.331. This is a Pearson correlation which we are running. Okay, let's come back. Now I want to know the skewness in the data. So for that, I'll be running the command line. Skew is, de is equal to data dot skew print skewness. Enter. So wherever I get negative, you can see here negative. It means that the data is negatively skewed. And if it is positive, it's a positively skewed. So this is a positive skewness. The ideal value of the skewness is zero. So if your data is positively or negatively skewed, how does it look? Ideal value of the skewness should be zero. So if it is a positive skewness, it is like this. And if it is a negative skewness, if it is like, it is like this. Okay. Let us go back and run the kurtosis in the data. Basically, skewness and kurtosis are the statistical measures used to find out that is our data normally distributed or not. So we'll run the command kurtosis is equal to data dot kurtosis print kurtosis. Now the ideal value of the kurtosis is three. This one, mesocurtin. If you get the, uh, the kurtosis of any variable is equal to three, it means that it is a mesocortic and the data is normally distributed. But if the value is more than three, then it is known as a positive kurtosis or a leptocortic. If the value of the kurtosis of any variable is less than C, three, it is platycortic. Okay, now let's see in our output that which are the variables which are platycortic, mesocortic, and leptocortic. Here, the value is less than 3 and therefore it is platycortic. Here it is less than 3, platycortic. This is leptocortic because it is more than 3. Again, platycortic. This is leptocortic because it is more than 3. More than 3, leptocortic. More than 3, leptocortic. This is platycortic. So for more videos on machine learning using Python kindly, refer to my playlist in which I've already uploaded many videos which are related to machine learning. Please subscribe to my channel and press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.